Recently, an aide to President Buhari argued that the country would do well with a kind bully. This has generated interesting conversations. We sought the views of some Nigerians, and here's what we got. Take a listen. Some say Nigeria needs a kind bully as president. How do you react? Buhari is already high-handed with the way he goes about things in the country. For someone like Femi Additional to come out and say tell Nigerians that we need to be bullied, to me, Femi Additional is not speaking the mind of the people. He's only trying to protect where he eats from, so he should be ignored. Nigeria has expired. Most of our politicians are talking from their both sides of the mouth. They don't tell all the truth. The president should be a father, and I don't think a father is a bully to his, uh, his children whether biological or political children. When some people find themselves uh, within the corridors of uh, power or very close to the power, power their brain is a kind of, um, when they use their technical terms in phone, they say flash, they have flashed their brain. Being an educator in Nigeria system, he may hate some people, he may like some people, and he will deal with those way he hate. So what we need is a democrat. Take Nigerians as one. What uh, we need is a president that is going to be a father to the nation and to give freedoms you know to every person you know we have the right to express ourselves either through the social media or wherever i'm one person that um, supported this present administration 2015 and today i can tell you that um, i regret that decision i don't know where these people are getting this kind of orientation from if they voted you in and they are clamoring for something don't you think it is time for you to call for a round table, I mean referendum as some people will call it, try to look at the root cause of these things. Instead, you are saying, well, it's just quite unfortunate that we find ourselves, you know, in this mess. It's like our president, his orientation is a military orientation, but the manner and the way things are going is not what we expected. Nigeria as a country, we need somebody who understands them and take them according to how they are. But with the present situation, we say we are clamoring for change. But the change we are seeing is not what we, are, we expected. We are in the uh, 21st century and civilized world, that's why we are in. So him dictating for us to go back to the civil, um, to the military way not, is not a good one. If Adesina is saying this at this time that Nigeria is in crisis, and, and at, this, at this time so many lives are going on, are going away and being wasted, I don't think he's being fair. Because he sits there and he thinks he won't come down. One day they will still come back to become the citizens and they will leave power and they will face the tune of the music. For more on Voices from the Street, visit RipplesNigeria.com Without Borders, Without Fears.